Hey guys, it's Victor Costa. Hope you're doing well. Tonight I wanted to share with you an experience that I had with a client uh, that was really enlightening for the both of us and hopefully it will help you and your workouts and, and benefit you in some way. Uh, and so let me share with you a, a little bit about that episode. So usually when someone comes to me uh, for training, I want to see what they're doing. Uh, I want to see how they're normally approaching the gym. I want to see how they walk in the gym, how they approach the weights, uh, the type of form that they're using, and how much effort and energy they put out, and how much time they take between the sets. So I try to monitor kind of all of these variables at the same time, and I keep that in mind with what the person told me that their problem is. So in this case, it was uh, chest. This person was having a hard time with their chest, so I said, let's see what you're doing. So let me tell you what uh, he did. On his first set, he approached the bench press and did 10, 10 repetitions. The second set, he did eight. The third set, he did seven. And on the fourth set, he did six. So for those of you who are keeping score, that's 31 repetitions. And so I had um, a hunch. And it doesn't always happen like this, but I just had a feeling um, that the first set burned this guy out. And you could tell everything was downhill. It wasn't like this, this, um, this workout session crescendoed. It was, it was a problem from the get-go. And I had this inspiration. And I said to him, I want you to do something for me. I, I want you to find your 10. I don't care if that's the number 10. We, we're normally used to counting to the number 10 and we think that that's a complete set. But everybody's different. And I wanted him to find his 10, right? The, the number that felt good for him and the number that would allow us to kind of progress throughout um, this workout. Now, I know there's other variables involved. We kept the same weight uh, throughout the entire uh, four sets, so just in case um, you're wondering if that variable was changed. But he was able to do 31 reps when he did 10 first. Now, let me tell you what we reconfigured. We found nine to be a really great point. It was a point for him with that particular weight that he wasn't completely struggling, um, but he felt it, and he was able to do four sets of nine. That's 36 total repetitions, five more repetitions than 31, which is 16% more. So you could argue that this workout, because he found his 10, which in effect was the number nine, that he improved his workouts by 16%. Now you might say, could one repetition really tilt the scale and be the tipping point that makes everything go off the grid, so to speak? And the answer is yes. Sometimes uh, you know that if you exert yourself too much on a sprint or if you exert yourself too much on a set, that there really is no catching up from that, right? The workout's kind of done and everything fades from there because you know, in a sense, that you overdid it. Uh, at least for that period of time. You spent an inordinate amount of energy for the activity that you're normally doing, but you went a little bit too far. And sometimes when you dial that back, you'll see that there's an overall progression as a result of saving some of that energy. So in this case, we were able to really change things by having him find his 10. So that's my message to you today, to not be afraid to experiment, to not get stuck with the uh, dogmatic uh, idea that everything has to be 10 and 10 is only a complete set. 10 is, is what you make it, 10 is your set. So. The message tonight uh, to everyone is to find your 10 and remember um, the success that we had with this particular client and I hope you have the same. And as always, I wish you all the best. Thank you for supporting me. Peace, love, and muscles. Visit me at Vix Natural. Say hello on Facebook and uh, my book's available now uh, in the description below. All right. Take care. Be well. Bye.